do. He created a turnover. But, uh, you know, they need something from McDonald, too, on the offensive end. He's not really giving them the energy that he usually brings to the game. And, again, I know that they haven't played for three weeks. But, these, as you know, Coach was saying at the halftime in the interview, these guys are professionals. And when they get out on the court, they're going to have to lay it out there. Che and Quay Tay in the Malaysian All-Star backcourt. Pathman against Quay. He beat the trap. Chi swings it back out. Che open on the right side. That will fall, and that sets up a four-point play opportunity for Che Zhyun. Yeah, well, you know, Che doing the right thing there, getting the ball, not hesitating at all. You can see a furious Singapore defense trying to get over there in his face, but making the contact, running straight at the ball, straight at the player, which is a no-no. A slim 69 kilogram player in Che. And he converts a four point play and suddenly this game has a very different complexion. Slingers, their lead reduced to two. You know, I'm watching Kirkland. Kirkland is still limping around there a little bit. Daniel, oh, kind of a loose pass terrible inside. Pass, terrible pass. Oh, and then hits the floor to keep that one in Slinger's hands. Armin Kirkland, some hesitation. A rush three-pointer falls for the American. Well, you know, I was just saying Kirkland looked like he was limping a little bit, but you wouldn't know it by that shot right there. Clutch, clutch shot by Kirkland. Quayte now working against Chris Daniel. Daniel biding, or rather Quayte biding his time. Chi for Che, and then that strip. Shovel pass up for Shane McDonald. Quayte not there. And that was all set up by the Singaporean Wei Long Wong, who had just come into the game. His first action in the entire game and uh, creating a nice little turnover. And Again, it must be contagious because they cough the ball up again. That was the rush three-pointer from Armin Kirkland. You can see just two seconds on the shot clock. So that allowed the Slingers to retake a seven-point lead with 1.15 to go. Kirkland and two Malaysian defenders collapse on him. Yeah, but, and you know, on the other side of the ball, nobody even moving for Singapore. Pathman. Somebody's got to be open when he's double teamed. Daniel left alone. Air ball. Baseball pass down to Chi. Oh, there's a walk. <laughs> no call. He had bobbled that ball and was still moving his feet. Thus, a travel call is missed from the officials, but she scores and a five point lead. Credit Jamal Brown to spot the cutting Chi and then Kuei Tay intercepting a pass. Well, Daniel telegraphing that pass. There's a foul there by Kirkland. Really can't blame him. I mean, he's left in no man's land there. He had two players coming at him. Defense really slow in getting back for Singapore. Three team fouls. Check that, four team fouls now on the Singapore Slingers. Well, Kirkland receiving a well-deserved rest here. He has been carrying the load for Singapore throughout this ball game. And again, in the same position that they were in before when Kirkland goes out of the game, somebody's got to step up. They've been leaning on Daniels a whole lot, but it'd be sure nice to have Shane McDonald contribute something offensively. Kuei gets both. And the All-Stars are within three. Now, Chris Daniel. Oh, Quayte coming out of nowhere. What a foul. And they're going to call that one, I believe, on Jamal Brown. Yeah, he got him with the, uh, you see the referee point, he got him with the elbow as he went up. So, lucky break there for the Slingers. And that'll send Daniels to the line for a pair. Third foul there, I believe, on Brown. You are exactly right to go with 14 points. And he knows he has an entire fourth quarter to play. Chris Daniel having a whale of the game with 23 points. And most of those from the free throw line, but hey, you take them where you can get them. So the Malaysian All-Stars, oh, they could have played for last shot. Instead, McDonald will hurry one, 
And a silly foul. Oh, my. They should have just let him score. Yeah, and one. So second layup of the quarter for McDonald. That's just what we were talking about. You can get him energized, get him in the open court. He does have good balance. So able to do just that. He had his man beat. It was going to be two points no matter what. Instead, it is three. Silly fouls hurting the Malaysian All-Stars big time. 67-59. So, 14 seconds remaining. Shot clock is off. Jamal Brown, skip pass. LeBlanc picks that one up. Back out, Quayte. Yeah, Brown's gonna take this himself. That's Quayte, the three-pointer is off. So the third quarter comes to a close. Remember the Slingers started trailing by a point instead. We go into the fourth quarter with the Singapore Slingers leading the Malaysian All-Stars 67-59. Chris Daniel, the high man for the Singapore Slingers with 23 points, a much better effort at both ends of the floor. Yeah, especially defensively. Remember a lot of those uh, points that the Slingers made up were predicated off of steals that they made in turnover. So evidence that they are ratcheting up the pressure on the defensive end. Singapore Slingers on track for their fifth win of the Challenge Series. We'll see if they can get it done when we return to the indoor stadium. You're watching it on Sling HD. PA guy is driving me nuts. If he says defense one more time, I am going to go, I'm going to snap. I swear to God, I'm going to be like one of those post office workers, you know? Does he have another gear? How about offense? Offense. How about silence? <laughs> defense. Yeah, let's see the free throws. Free throws for the Slingers. Sean Farquhar and Chuck Schreiner, please be part of Sling HD's exclusive live coverage of the Singapore Slingers. 67.59 as we welcome you back to the Singapore Indoor Stadium. The Slingers started this second half trailing the Malaysian All-Stars by a point, but rugged defense and converting from the free throw line continue to show the way for the Slingers. Well, yeah, just to underline what we were talking about right before we went to the break, uh, Sean, at the end of the half, the Slingers had four points off of turnovers. Now they've got 16 points off of turnovers, so 12 points right uh, off the bat there in the third quarter, as you said, off of the defensive end. So good effort by the Slingers on the D end. And you know, a situation, and again, that 24 out of 26 on the free throw line. So they're getting it done on the defensive end, they're getting it done at the free throw line, and that's enough for an eight point lead at the moment. Chris Quayte works against Shane McDonald as we start the fourth quarter. This is Michael LeBlanc against John Fitzgerald, who has had a tough, tough night offensively. Quayte at the top. Crossover dribble, stumbles, and yeah. yes, they will call a travel. Well, that's only the second travel they've called all game, and you can't get any more obvious than that, but uh, they've missed about five or six as well. We were beginning to wonder if you needed to put the basketball <laughs> in a briefcase, show your plane tickets before they would call a travel. It's Gerald to McDonald. Oh, Harris, and you mentioned a long spell on the bench. His range is five feet. Can we agree on that? I, I think that's... Uh, that's optimistic <laughs> <laughs> 10 point lead now for the slingers he's an interior scorer let's leave it there <laughs> michael leblanc on the baseline will go to the floor no foul and a non-call mcdonald leaving it for the trailing john fitzgerald uh, fitzgerald doing what he needed to do there smartly taking the ball up in the air and uh, exhibiting some pretty good hang time himself takes the ball with one hand Little soft toss to the basket for two. Jamal Brown now inside. Good spin move there, and it is slapped. But 
They will say contact from Sam Harris. If it is, that is five fouls on the Slinger's big man. Yeah, I don't know if it's going to be on Harris or Daniel. The way Daniel reacted, I think they're going to try and give it to him. And you know what, Chuck? They have taken a foul off the board. And they're saying it's actually three fouls now for Sam Harris. Well, that's good news because they can use him. I don't know if I'd want to have him in there down the stretch, but certainly the first four or five minutes, get what you can get out of him. A couple rebounds, a couple baskets, post him down low there. He can do some damage. Chi blowing the free throw. Fitzgerald. 12-point bulge now for the Slingers. Daniel beats a double team. Fitzgerald, oh, back on track, perhaps. That is just what the doctor ordered. That's the first three I think they've hit since about the second quarter. Couldn't have come at a better time. That opens things up. 15-point lead now for Singapore, as a foul is called. Yeah, Charge. That's right, which cancels out a nice jitterbug move from Jamal Brown. Well, the minute's starting to take a toll on these three imports uh, from for Malaysia. These guys, you know, I, I just saw uh, LeBlanc walking around with his head down there. They have been asked to carry a lot of the burden. For Guerra, for Harris, and uh -oh. he might have hurt us. He might have hurt us, Chuck, as Sam Harris connects from 15 feet. That's right, and that's, that is definitely beyond his range, but hey, he'll take it. And the lead now is 17. Remember, the Malaysian All-Stars led here at the start of the third quarter. Jamal Brown, oh, Sam Harris has come alive. That's a clean block. Yes, it is, and the ball shepherded out of bounds by Al Vergara. Nice play by him as well. So a lot of this stuff that we're seeing from the Slingers, their uh, resurgence in the second half due to great defense that they've been playing. Vergara, McDonald. Daniel, the turnaround. It would have been two if it went. Ooh, Al, or Sam Harris, I should say, cleaning glass. Well, the Malaysian uh, defenders there opening up the lane, and you know, just Harris just using his body to get inside, knifing through there. And once he does that, he's got such a big height advantage at uh, no contest. He's taken a verbal beating from us, but he has 10 points. T. Shane McDonald. Driving through, Al Vergara calling for it. Fitzgerald dials three. Well, Fitzgerald feeling it for some reason. He hit one in a row, thought maybe he could make it two. I wouldn't necessarily make him say making one basket. LeBlanc. You know, it means you're hot, but. Uh, LeBlanc had found a fifth gear there as they whip it over McDonald into the lane. Chris Daniel, Jamal Brown, nowhere to be found on defense. Yeah, and you can see Brown even walking back now, so these minutes really starting to take a toll on these imports from Malaysia. Chi finds himself left alone and a quick dunk. Well, he's awkward, but he gets the job done, puts the ball on the floor, they allowed him to do it, and then after that, it was sayonara. Fitzgerald. The Slingers now simply teeing off all kinds of offensive options. LeBlanc. This is Oy. Almost Jamal a walk Brown. there. You know, with 13 seconds on the clock, Jamal Brown tries a three-pointer. I mean, there's loads of time left in this game. The Brown trying to go for the whole six-pack right there. Oh, McDonald out of control. Daniel, look at that, against three defenders. Tapped outside, it'll remain in the hands of the Slingers. Yeah, heads up play there by Daniels. Able to get his uh, hand on the ball, you know, so your shot gets blocked. That's okay, you've got the lead, you've got the ball. Timeout here called by Go Cheng Huat, the All-Stars coach. He has seen enough. Well, you know, he's just got to get more balanced scoring in his lineup, and it's just hard to see where it's going to come from. You've got uh, three players out there that are logging major, major minutes, and uh, really nobody to come into the game. It's basically a six-man team, and very tough to win ball games, or at least to play extended periods with a rotation like that. Singapore, on the other hand, 
as a plethora of players that have come in. Even Pathman's, you know, at least he contributes to the point where he gets two, three rebounds. Uh, we got a crucial steal by one of the Singaporean players a little bit earlier on, so uh, uh, Wei Long Wong. So, you know, getting contributions from unlikely sources, that's what you need to do to stay competitive in a ball game. Singapore has been getting them, Sean. Malaysia has not. Singapore Slingers will next play the Philippines national team coming up on November 30th right here at the indoor stadium. Then they take on an Indonesian team and loads more action for the Singapore Slingers before the year closes out. Well, it's been a successful season for them so far. Uh, you can point to the victories over big time uh, Philippine teams that, that came here. And, you know, we've, we've played before crowds eight, 9,000 and uh, Singapore Slingers, when they've been at full strength, have been competitive with anybody. Uh, even the game they lost against the NBL team, I think what well, they lose by five, six points. So, you know, you sort of point to the things, what would have, you know, what would have happened had they say remained in the NBL, you know, what would have happened if they would have been full strength for the whole season. And, uh, you know, you take what, uh, you take what it, they give you every day as we look at uh, Sam Harris take a shot. That was off the inbound play, Chris Quay Tay, and he is fouled at midcourt by Al Vergara. But you're exactly right, it has been an entertaining challenge series thus far and plenty more to come before we enter the new year in 2009. Now this is a flagrant foul that they are calling on Al Vergara. Chris Quayte hitting the first of two. We'll get both. So it's two points, or two baskets I should say, and possession for the Malaysian All-Stars. You know, to underscore what we were talking about, major minutes that these imports are having to play, Jamal Brown before the fourth quarter, John, playing you know, almost 28 minutes. Uh, Kurte playing almost 23 minutes. As we saw Quayte clean up the miss from LeBlanc. And the All-Stars within 13 with just over five minutes remaining. I mean, loads of time left is a McDonald jacks one up from Freesville. It's not very often that he finds himself open for a three-pointer. So not only do the All-Stars need baskets in a hurry, but they've got to ratchet up the defense uh, as LeBlanc yeah. fadeaway jumper is good. That beautiful was play, beautiful play by LeBlanc. First to draw the contact, knocking Fitzgerald back, and then stepping back and hitting the jumper. Regera, and a pick shown or put on Oy. Fitzgerald found himself open. And a little pick and roll there by Fitzgerald. Couldn't get the shot to go. Kirkland back in the game right now. Look at that. Three defenders going after Armin Kirkland. Regera. They're going to wave off yeah. that basket and they'll say a foul off the ball. Well, that, that was, that's going to be on Sam Harris clearing out. He basically pushed two defenders out of the way to get in position for that rebound. So that'll be four on him. To go with 10 points. 4-10 remaining here in the fourth quarter. Quayte crossing midcourt. Take it away, Fitzgerald. Oh, look at that, Alver Guerra. Yeah. Oh my, that's the second lay-in he has blown in this game. That well, is embarrassing. Well, I was just getting ready to say, Alva Vergara with a fantastic play on the other end with a steal. Did everything right, but put, put the ball in the basket. But fresh 24 for the Slingers. Now it's down to five. Fitzgerald's going to have to take the shot. Cross Got over it. dribble. Yes, Chuck. The long deuce for John Fitzgerald. And the lead is 16 for the Singapore Slingers. Blocked there. Harris got a piece of it. Now Fitzgerald followed, fouled at midcourt. Some frustration now evident in the game of the Malaysian All-Stars. Yeah, on the other end of the court there, Brown didn't couldn't figure out where he was underneath the basket and uh, put up a wild shot there underneath it. And that started a, yet another fast break opportunity for Singapore. They've had their share here in the second half. And it's easy to forget that this is by far not the Slingers' best team. Remember, no Eric Sandrin, 
no Blagoy Janev, and no Darren Ong. Right, I mean, you got three guys in there. You know, it looked like Alvagera is getting major playing time. McDonald's getting major playing time. And, you know, for the most part, these guys have come through. Daniels also, he's a guy that basically plays 10, 12 minutes a game, and he's having to play 25, 30 minutes a game. Just what Coach was talking about, the interview at halftime, when you put guys in the game, they are professionals. They've got to stand up. And uh, for the most part, in the second half, that's exactly what they've done. Quete trying to find his way past Shane McDonald. Crossover dribble and hits from downtown. Well, 14 point game now, but you know, the problem I see from Malaysia is everything's freelance now. I think they basically abandoned their half court offense. And whenever an import gets the ball, it's just basically freelance one on one stuff. All Stars desperately looking for a stop. Harris. Back for Kirkland, driving. Uh -huh. Too strong on the lay-in. Boy, the Slingers with 85 points, but it could be 100 at this yeah, point. I mean, they've missed uh, three layups in the last two minutes. And meanwhile, Cuete getting it done at the other end. Fake left, or fake right, go left. A little turn play by him. 12-point cushion for the Slingers. Kirkland passes up the three, and Sam Harris just stone hands yeah. there, missing that one. Yeah. LeBlanc. And LeBlanc, I'll tell you what. Ten-point ball game right now, and yeah. Frank Arcigo calling timeout, Chuck. It's the lead down to ten points. Yeah, a little bit of lackadaisical play. I'll tell you, you've got to hit these layups. You saw the gear of this one. You know, then we turn around and... Uh, you know, another miss on the same end, so I mean, that's four points. If you're up by 14 with under two minutes, you gotta feel pretty good about yourself, but uh, only 10, too many things can happen. And uh, these American imports on the Malaysian team, they can knock it down with the best of them. So this game in no way, shape, or form is put away to this point. And that's why Frank Arcigo needs a timeout. They have not put this one away just yet. Well, I, yeah. I question why you've got Sam Harris in the game right now. He's really, he's done what he came to do. He gives you 10 points, five or six rebounds, uh, but he's a liability once you go down the stretch. Get somebody with sure hands in there. It's not that you need to score that many more points. You need to prevent the other team from scoring points. And he's produced a couple turnovers the last three or four trips down the court. So uh, I, I don't know after the timeout we're gonna see Sam in the game anymore. Five Singapore Slingers in double figures. Sam Harris, Chris Daniel, John Fitzgerald, Armin Kirkland, and Shane McDonald with 10, 25, 16, 15, and 14 points respectively. Balanced scoring. And that really exactly what Frank Arcigo wanted because this is the second unit. Yeah, and you know, Singapore never really found the range from outside, but they've done enough on defense to force turnovers, getting points in transition. And of course, uh, the free throw sh uh, shooting that we've been talking about since uh, the game started, they've just been uh, marvelous in that category. But to a little bit of a mental letdown here. Pathman getting some garbage time here. Well, I don't know if I'd really call it garbage time yet. Singapore needs to score and get a stop, and then it will be. But uh, 10 points, I'd still be a little bit nervous. There's a pick thrown by Pathman. Daniel against the double oh. team. Oh, a prayer. Finds nothing but net. So a 12 point lead now with under 90 seconds remaining. Kute uh, rushing to the basket, picking up the foul. That's what you don't want to do, stop the clock. Kwete for the Malaysian All-Stars. Now with 20 points. Uh, he's been rock solid. I mean, he's, he's kept in it back to a 10-point lead. And I'll tell you, full court press by Malaysia. Fitzgerald unwisely dribbling through it, but uh, was able to succeed this time. Yeah, no let up in the Malaysian All-Stars. John Fitzgerald, they allow him to get close to the basket, and he stays with it. Here's Chris Daniel. 
And the swinger's best player uh -huh. today, and he gets the hometown roll. Well, that ought to do it. 12-point lead with about a minute to play. It's going to be very, very tough for Malaysia to come back from that. Figure you need four possessions to tie. So LeBlanc there, the lay-in. and Singapore Slingers have decided to keep this one entertaining. Well, absolutely no reason at all for that foul. You go ahead and give him the two. You don't give him three. Plus stop the clock. I mean, that's just, uh, that's just basic basketball 101. So they'll count the basket. LeBlanc now with 24 points. Give him 25. The imports have done everything that's been asked of them tonight. They haven't had much help offensively. Look out. A little trap there. And the foul will be called. They're getting Oi Bon Sin on that one. Yeah, nice play. I mean, that's what you want to do. You stop the clock. I think they had a foul to give anyway. And, uh, you know, let your defense set up the trap again. Only took two seconds off the clock. In fact, several fouls to give. They're only on two team fouls. There's another one. The fourth quarter. So 21 left on the shot clock, 47 on the game clock. But 47 seconds is really two possessions and you're down by nine. So this yeah. one is over. And all Singapore needs to do is just take care of the ball. I mean, don't give up any simple turnovers here. You know, give up a quick basket and then get the ball stolen again on an inbounds or something like that. Then it could get interesting. But uh, the last three or four minutes, you know, Singapore led by as many as 18 now down to 10. John Fitzgerald, for much of this game, struggling with his outside shot. But give him credit, didn't put his head down. And with this free throw, he has 17 points, and he has done it the hard way. Yeah, he has. A lot of it from the line, and, uh, lot, you know, Tough layups that he's had to go in between players. Look at this. Woo That's and a hard foul. Yeah, well, they had called that one a flagrant, which is why these slingers have possession. Fitzgerald had a cut off there by Chi. Have to rush this one. Had a foot on the line. It does not go, so the point is moot. And with 27 seconds to go, the slingers will get it back up by 10. Well, Fitzgerald, nice hustle play, but you know, I have to remember he was the one that uh, turned the ball over to begin with. Look at this pass. Chris Daniel finding it for Pathman, and he waited for Quete to come in. And Pathman on the scoreboard here. Mario Lock, and that is his first field goal today. Yeah, and he picked a good time to uh, come through with his best play. Brown launches a three pointer. All-Stars, that bounces off the hand of Kirkland. And Shane McDonald coming down. Kirkland will back it out. Yes. The Slingers with a very impressive second half performance. Going into the third quarter, they trail by one, but they pull away here in the fourth quarter and win it 92-80 over the Malaysian All-Stars and claim victory here in the border skirmish with the Malaysian All-Stars for the Slingers. The high man, Chris Daniel with 29 points. John Fitzgerald finishes with 17. Armin Kirkland with 15. Shane McDonald, the point guard, 14 points. And Sam Harris with 10. So five Slingers in double figures. Meanwhile, for the Malaysian All-Stars, 25 points for Michael LeBlanc, 16 for Jamal Brown and Chris Kuei Tay with a surge in the second half comes up with 20 points. The three imports for the Malaysian All-Stars all but handling the scoring load for the Malaysian All-Stars. A gutsy performance. However, the Singapore Slingers shaking off a lot of rust after a three-week layoff coming back to claim their fifth game of the Challenge Series. And 
look forward to their next one against the Filipino team. Meanwhile, Chuck Schreiner standing by with Frank Arcega. Well, Coach, uh, turnovers kind of hurt you in the second half, it looked like. Turnovers kind of hurt you in the second half, it looked like. Yeah, we got a man because we were in full court press. So all those turnovers and, uh, and they get quick by easy basket. Uh, your three imports did a great job uh, offensively, but it looked even sometimes they were a little bit tired towards the end. And uh, the, the local players, some really couldn't pick up the slack offensively. Has that been a problem for you this year? Actually, we have uh, we really doesn't have a team training. We just assemble this team in such a short period, and uh, immediately after our NBL uh, league over, we just came here yesterday. So this morning we have one hour of team assembled. We call it assemble. So I'm glad they did quite well with it. Well, it looked like they were very competitive. It was only the third and fourth quarter that let them down, but you were very competitive in the first half. Thank you for that. I'm glad I just like to thank the, the team effort for that. And all the two, my two coaches are helping me all this thing. So I'm just glad with that. Hoping in the return leg in KL, you will see how is it and hope for the best here. Okay, thank you very much, Coach. Good luck to you. And that, of course, Go Cheng Huat, the head coach of the Malaysian All-Stars, so a quickly assembled team, this Malaysian outfit, and they played the Singapore Slingers very competitively, finishing 92-80 on the short end of the things. Meanwhile, Frank Arcego has got to be plenty pleased with the Slingers victorious after a three-week layoff. Well, Coach, the defense really turned around. You guys weren't hitting your outside shots. You found a way to do it and it, it, through your defense and your free throw shooting. Well, um, that's right, Chuck. I mean, like, you know, if, if we just kept going along the way we did in the first half and just hoped that something was going to go right for us, um, probably wasn't going to get it done against that team. They, they, they had some really good players. But um, I think defensively, you know, if you can crank up and create some easy baskets, I, I still love the way we're trying to um, develop our fast-breaking game with the Slingers. I think it's something that would be um, uh, a cultural thing for the program. And uh, I thought, you know, the defence really really lifted and we got some easy baskets which opened the game up for us. You talked about in the first half how some guys were going to have to step up given the injuries that you had. You found your guys. Uh, Fitzgerald really had a good fourth quarter. Yeah, I thought Fitzy came good. I think he found a way. He was like zero from 10 in the first half. And then we encouraged him to get to the basket, which slowly led him to a few free throws. And then things loosened up and he made some great perimeter shots. I'd also like to make a comment that I thought um, Pathman did a great job in the third quarter. He played the whole third quarter. Sam was in foul trouble. And I think he really um, cemented our defense at the back there with that zone. So um, uh, that, was a, that was a really good job for him. And McDonald also sort of stepped it up a little bit uh in the, in the third and fourth quarter too. It looked like he was uh, having an extremely hard time the first half, the second half, turned it around a little bit for you. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, we, we shot about 27% in the first half when, and that's not gonna win you a game. So we just asked everyone to lift a little. So I think realistically, Chuck, if you look across the board, I think everyone everyone lifted their game and that and that resulted in a pretty good win for us. We're really happy with that. And I think our, um, you know, our, our guys that are sort of like, have probably been supporting players for most of the series, can feel really good about themselves and that gives us some more options with um, some more interesting games to come up. Hey Coach, now you're 2-0 since you've taken over the team, what's it feel like? Uh, well, uh, firstly, I'm just, uh, it feels great to be perfectly honest. Uh, just really proud of, uh, of the boys because, um, you know, we've had a little bit of adversity this season and uh, they've stuck to the task as professionals and, um, and, and you can't be more proud than that of a, a group of guys that are committed. So um, we hope to entertain a little bit longer this season. November 30th is going to be a big day for you because you're going to have obviously a packed house here, a lot of Filipino expats here. Any thoughts looking forward to that? Well, right now we, we've got a, a really good uh, rehab pro program going for our three injured players. Uh, it's going to be a big night of basketball. I'd just like to just wish everyone to make the effort to just come out here and, and enjoy the night. It'll be sensational. We would like to have our full team on the court. You know, if we're going to play a Filipino all-star team, then uh, we know they're going to have some players. And, uh, and, and we want to continue our, our, our defense of our home court. We've really loved what we've done here this season. And so I, I hope the place is full to the rafters and I hope the place is rocking because it'll be a great night for basketball. Well, it's going to be televised in the Philippines. It's going to be televised here. Coach, uh, all the best luck to you and you're doing a fantastic job these first two games. Good luck. 
Thank you very much. I really appreciate the support and, uh, and, and, and as I said, we're all working hard to make sure that uh, Singapore is well represented in the, in the world of basketball. Okay. Thanks a lot, Coach. All right, five Singapore Slingers finishes up in double figures, a 92-80 victory for the Singapore Slingers, and they run their record here in the Challenge Series to five wins and one loss, a 12-point win going away here in the fourth quarter against the Malaysian All-Stars. Their next game, you heard it mentioned, November 30th against the national team from the Philippines. But for now, the Singapore Slingers, five wins against one loss here in the Challenge Series and a long spell before they face the Philippines national team. So, the Singapore Slingers continue a successful Challenge Series. You can log on to cystic.com.sg to book your tickets and watch Singapore's first professional basketball team, the Singapore Slingers, in action. Or you can follow this on slinghd.com. For Chuck Schreiner, I'm Sean Farquhar saying goodbye from the Singapore Indoor Stadium and watching on Sling HD.